this is Nancy from Nancy's Garden Soap Co. And um, tonight I want to try out a uh, different kind of soap where I'm going to be dividing the soap oils and the lye solution into three different sections so that I can work with each one separately. So, and I'm going to actually add these to the oil ahead of time because it's a floral it'll probably uh, move pretty quickly. And that's also why I am mixing these three separately. Okay, this is going in the first batch of oil here. And number three. Okay, the next thing we want to do is to um, add color. So I have, um, the plan is to have one be purple, one be white, and one be green. So I have my micas here. And I'm going to add them in. All right, I did a little rearranging and I brought my uh, bigger stock pot in. I'm pouring the purple into here. And I'll be scraping the bottom. It was the mic is sitting at the bottom. All right. And then we're going to add the lye to this. Let's see how you're doing there. Good. Here's the lye. It's going in. this like this all right next day um, wanted you to see the soap out of the mold there it is from the side here's the top turned out pretty nice and now I want to do a cut so let's get going All right, here are the soaps that I made. Um, these are lilac scented, and I created them using three layers, um, three batches of soap, three, well, I took one batch of oil and lye and divided it into three. And um, the reason why I did this was as a precursor to see if I could actually mix multiple batches of soap and do them in succession and uh, be able to like shape, or in this case, flatten out each one, um, allow it to cure up a little bit prior to um, pouring down the next one. So I wanted to use that for a sculpted layers 
soaps that I'd like to make in the future and I just needed to do a little practice ahead of time. So there you have it. Um, lilac layers with a swirl in the middle and thank you for watching.